Good evening, everyone. It's 4 o'clock. Time to begin our 4 o'clock afternoon meeting, January the 8th. That's time we'll call ourselves to order. Welcome <coughs> all the staff with us today. And at this time, we'll begin. Item 1. Thank you, Mayor, members of City Council. There, there are six items on your uh, strategic agenda, and uh, uh, I'll be happy to lead off with uh, especially going uh, back through and reviewing briefly the uh, topic of a retreat and goal setting session that was uh, just been proposed. And uh, I'm requesting council's guidance and decision on the following elements associated with having that retreat. And they basically are lo the location, date uh, of the goal setting and retreat session, and presentation format uh, for department heads uh, presentations, and the overall session format and duration. And so that, um, just a brief review uh, City Council initially considered this at your regular meeting in October, and um, it was tabled uh, and at the uh, October meeting for November and then tabled in November for uh, consideration today. Uh, initially, you all thought favorably of holding the session and expressed interest to expand the session to include department head presentations uh, where they could offer insights on department initiatives prior to conducting a goal setting session. The uh, dates for the session were initially considered for late January. However, with the passage of time, that may become problematic, and so we've identified a couple other windows for a <coughs> retreat goal setting session if you all are inclined to have one. Uh, what we looked at was January 27th through the 29th, February 10th through the 12th, and February 17th through the 19th. Um, on the screen, I've uh, summarized uh, work that um, our staff did on identifying some locations, a variety of locations, nine to 12 locations, I believe. Um, the, uh, the, the costs and whether they are in fact available as of the second of this month for, you see, look on the far right, those the, in purple are the dates that I just went through, the 27th of January, the 10th, the week of the 10th of February, and the week of the 17th of February. Um, uh, all this, not all the sites um, <coughs> required lodging, at least from a staff perspective. If they were in close proximity, um, we didn't think uh, lodging would, would be needed or required, but that's obviously an HL's option and discretion. So just running through them at high level, uh, looking on the left side of the screen, we uh, got numbers for Valentine, Charles Max Center in Mooresville, Randover Resort in Greensboro, Graylin in uh, Winston-Salem, Great Lodge in Concord, Pinehurst, uh, Sheraton Four Seasons also in Greensboro, Speedway Club in Sharp Motor Speedway, and Union County Kane uh, Creek Park. Um, so starting in reverse order, Kane Creek Park is available at any of those, those three periods. The Speedway, I believe, was, that was late breaking, but I'll believe that, that uh, was available for those uh, date windows. Sheraton Four Seasons, only the uh, second time frame, February 10th to the 12th. Uh, Pinehurst was available at each of those time frames. Great Wolf Lodge and Concord is available at all those locations or time frames. Grayland, only the uh, February 17th window. Grandover was available all three uh, periods. Charles Mack, only the the third, February 17th, and Valentine was not available. Um, costs vary. Um, the basically the out of town locations uh, outside of an hour, the cost goes up significantly, basically because of um, the provision for lodging. Otherwise, you know, meal costs, and there's some that are going to be more expensive than others, but uh, <coughs> meal costs um, weren't the big driver, really, the lodging or overnight, whether it's going to be overnight and how many nights, really, is what drove up costs, what could drive up costs. Um, any questions on locations? I suggest we select the date first on that to go to them. If we still want to go. Suggest what? I'm sorry. I'm suggesting we select the date. Uh, 
terms of dates? Those are basic date windows there in the middle of the page, January 27th, week of the 27th, week of the 10th, week of the 17th. Well, a lot of them are thinking of one or two, wasn't it? Or something uh, it depends. Some, not, not necessarily. There's some that were available in one, one of those weeks. Uh, so a couple were available each of those days or each of those week windows. But uh, all of them were available for all of those windows. Could I ask a question? Has it been established that we're going to have one? And is that not the first thing we ought to decide? Secondly, and I would agree, but uh, the date should be next, but it sounds to me like we're on a pretty fine timeline for January the 27th. Is that not the case? Yes, sir. Why don't we just knock that one out then and go to the next two? And then number three, decision about where we're going to go. Let me go ahead and say, I, I approve of having a retreat under the format you just described earlier. I thought we had decided on that, but we had not. Okay, we well, that, that, that was that discussion. Well, I got to count the very well. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll plead ignorance on that case. Okay. Well, let me, secondly, uh, I'll go along with other things. Or no. <coughs> is that two dates in two dates? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I hope you yeah. do. I hope you do something local. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't know I would make I, a motion that we uh, have a retreat. I second that. Hang on. This happened. Oh. Yeah. What was it? Days ago. I don't know. I'll make myself available. I have a motion to second. All in favor of having a retreat? Aye. Any opposed? You're not. I'll finish what I said. I hope we can do this and stay local. I don't. I don't care anything about leaving town. I don't care anything about spending extra money. We've got four million rooms. You want a house for rest anyway, man? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see no point in going out of town for a weekend and spending twelve, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars or whatever it is when we've got places right here available in the city of Monroe. And if you can't find a place in the city of Monroe, we have it right here. I think the purpose of us decided no. about that is to get right away. Right. I think the purpose of us getting away is that we don't have any distractions um, and to uh, make sure that well, we... Well, if you leave your cell phone at home, we won't have any distractions, Ideally. but we're not going to have a telephone. Ideally. I'm, 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 <laughs> that's just what I think. You don't have any distractions right. unless you want them. Right. If you don't answer the phone, we won't have any. And you can always leave, so you know that's another thing about being local. Yeah. So we try to negate all of those possibilities. So. And plus, I think getting away, getting out of town would be something that we can all kind of appreciate and, and have, a, have an opportunity to um, to build some relationships. That's, that's my opinion, there was somebody got I think Saluda's comment earlier was spot on. If we can get 100% attendance from our council and, and, uh, and mayor here, we need to pick a date. But if we can't all be there, uh, this, for this thing to, to, to function to its most and to, for us all leave, I think, um, better for attending. We need to make sure everybody can plan ahead and be there. Yeah, we've yeah. got to have the attendance. There's no point having it. You don't have a retreat. The, retreat like right. the 27th is too soon, so that first, is it February 10th? Uh, yes, sir. Tenth and 12th. How many can be <laughs> available on February the 10th? What, what day, day is that? That's a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday would be the 10th, right? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. And then the next is that 17th, which is that's the next, just the next Monday. It, but if, just, let's just do an informal show of hands. How many of us can, can do either, either one of them? Either one of what? The, the 10th, 10th, 10th or 17th. 17th. I couldn't do the 17th. I could do the 10th. All right. I could do the 10th. Can everybody do the 10th? I could do the 11th. So Franco, you can't do 10th? Um, well, I'm trying to have a time to my calendar to make sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then, I would say let's consider the Cane Creek uh, option down there. That's nice. That's where the county's going and get good results. This is a point of reference. Uh, I heard one member say that 11th would be a problem. Correct. Are there any, it, looking at the following week, the 17th, is there, does anyone have a problem with any of the days? 
Yeah. 17, 17 years. What would the time be again? Yeah. Sir? What would the time be? Yeah. Basically today. Basically today to say local, would that help you then? Well, you know, it's two days. If it's, if it's, lo if it's local, then, then the travel, if it's local, local travel would, would be less of a challenge. If it's out of town, the second day, the 11th, could, well, the first day, and it's getting there and getting back might be a challenge. Do you plan to go all day on the second day? It's up to you all. <coughs> first, I would um, looking at the proposed itinerary. Uh, that's what I envisioned. Um, two days. Uh, uh, first day, basically staff presentations. Um, there's you know, more than a dozen folks that uh, are very eager to present. Yeah, and, right. uh, <laughs> uh, figuring about a half hour, up to a half hour uh, each. That's a, that's a full day, so that's that's easily eight hours, you know, six to eight hours. Um, so day one would be uh, staff presentations. Day two would be basically uh, council driven. I, I think it's fair to say that if you're staying local, you only need two days and three days long. So if you all have problems with say the 17th or the 10th, you could probably move it to do the 11th and the 12th or the 18th and 19th. Is that fair? To, that's I think based on the manager's schedule <coughs> or the manager. But I think that's just one other thing for you to think about is if you stay local, you don't need that first day which you would be using for travel and that's the day zero. So you're only looking at a two day. <coughs> you get up there, get to the local venue in the morning. You're there morning to evening. And then day two, morning, to Probably early afternoon, day. Yeah. I would think. So if that's still an issue, I think for two members, you both said that the 17th is problematic for that reason, it sounds like. For well, it's fine for me since it's the second day is kind of short or so. The 10th and 11th. I would, I would expect it to be. Right. If you stay local, yeah. So you can go the 10th and 11th or 11th and 12th. Right. 17th or 18th or 18th. All right, so I guess we're back at locations. All right, so uh, locations, the uh, 10th to the 12th, basically you have, um, if you're looking at out of town, Grand, Grand Over Resort, Great Wolf, Concord, Pinehurst is available. Uh, Sheraton Four Seasons in Greensboro and Cane Creek. Mm -hmm. And in this one floor. Did you suggest would you make a motion? I'm not pushing for what not from the whole way out. Um, just, I think everybody's just gonna kinda get a general feel for who we can, can be there. So how did you feel you you can work that out. So that's it looks like the tenth and the eleventh would be the, the time for us. And, and I make a motion that we go to the Cane Creek Park Lakeside Lodge. That's a double motion. That's what? You can you can put two things in there. You can pick a date and a location. Okay, we'll, we'll take that one motion that'd be good. All right. So I have a motion for Cane Creek Park. Tenth and eleventh. Tenth and eleventh. Any other discussion? Here's not all of that. Do I have a second? I thought I had some. Well, I have second. Well, I second. Well, I second. The day I have a second can creep, so I have to draw my second. So someone else can second 10th and 11th can creep. The council member can let it go from there. I have a motion to second for 10th and 11th at Cane Creek Park. Any other discussion? Here's not all in favor. Uh -huh. Any opposed? No. Okay, I have one, one opposed. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Mayor, members of City Council. And just uh, lastly, to highlight, what I would like to highlight. Um, yes. Uh, presentation format that uh, was suggested for our staff Go back up. would uh, use these parameters uh, so that uh, it helps staff focus on major initiatives as opposed to 
um, area nickel and dime type of expenditure that uh, might, might be considered. Um, and that would include uh, new and expanded programs with costs greater than 100,000. Uh, and these, this is my recommendation. If council wants to go in a different direction, sure we may do so. Um, second, new and expanded programs that add two or more personnel. Um, I would uh, encourage department heads to limit their presentations no more than 30 minutes. Can we have all items listed and um, if there's a question about a particular item, we can bring it up, but they just present on the ones that you're suggesting? Like, the department has like any any items that were um, suggested or wanted? If, if the group wants that, I mean, it's a lot of minutia that uh, can take your eye off of the target. Because again, go, what I would suggest to council, the purpose of goal setting session is to focus on major initiatives, not necessarily nickel and dime, the $5,000 expenditure. And I agree with that. What I'm asking is that they present on that and they also have another separate. I, I, and I heard you. What I'm saying is if that's the wishes of council, that's the guidance I'll give staff. Okay. I'll make a motion that we do that. Now, you're asking for, for the costs that are going to be over 